Uh, F-U-C, nothing wrong with it. There's no K, okay? Yeah, we didn't even have like a joint core call. They just started gravitating towards where the enemy is because opposites attract. There's no justifying that risk unless you like the risk itself. Four v four clan push and one guy pushing objective wasn't the worst goal since the core was so low. Yeah, thing is, the thing is, it was Malf solo pushing because Cassandra is also agreeing in the same way how to finish the game. But as a support, you're not allowed to make that call. I was maybe allowed to be away, but not her because she's the healer. Exactly, it was the optimal call, Solus Lux. The psychological advantage we have as a team. I nearly went psychotic that game. What psychological advantage? I split in two. One went with them to the core and one stayed at the objective. With 32 game, even Malf could take down the car. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous I've seen. All shall suffer. I hear the call. I hear the call. Leo's okay. Brrrrap! I agree that you should have pushed objective. By far the highest win chance. However, if you stayed alone on the objective and they all went, it would be fine too. The indecisiveness is what made a heartbeat. Make a choice. The thing is, I made a judgement call. I think my allies could manage to die quickly enough. I think they could manage to die really fast. We don't have much more split interrupts. I think they could die so fast. I actually nearly said a Dutch word by accident. <laughs> they could die so fast and still make it to me because they have both gusts to kill them and then fly to me to interrupt. Sounds like you missed some fun games today, Epirus. Dude. If you have a chance, you should watch the last game. I don't know if I should the put it on YouTube. On. Maybe I should. Ideally, what I think we get here is Tychus or Greymane and a support, but I know Cass doesn't play it and he was hovering support and he is a support main, so we're gonna have to go with that. I thank you. 
Would you consider doing a beginner's guide to WC3 multiplayer when Reforged hits? I was a kid back when it came out and all my experience is campaign only. Thanks and love the streams, keep up the good work. Have you seen my bloody beginner guides? One with each race? They're kind of your beginning opener to Warcraft 3. To cover every mechanic would require a series of guides. I can't just make one one hour or one five hour guide. My intent was to start making educational content once Reforge dropped and looked good. But because it never looked great yet, I haven't made it yet. I did ma uh, start with the bloody beginner guides just because I can wait no longer. But I'm gonna wait till the graphics look really pristine and then I can make educational content. For so, how is your alliance with the angels coming along? Be silent. We have a battle to win. We have a battle to win. Grant us strength. Two additional toads. And toads of hugeness. Balloon. And grant toads grants armor. In ten seconds. Very superstitious. Grant us Five, I'm going four, superstition, I think. Three, two, against Chromie Lunara. Let loose Thing of the deep. Wrath. 50 stacks, 5% spell power, 10%. Attack damage increased, cooldown reduced. Spirit Whisper Spirit Whisper Agreement. Full Toad is the only way. Seriously, seriously. Wait, what, what's the best here, you guys think? The truth bans you. Range, right? Widows against Deathwing. Can we do a vote? Can a mod do a vote? I'm gonna go range. I'm not focusing on Deathwing, I'll play range. No vote needed. The Toads are strong, but Lunar and Chromie are not gonna walk into it. Your evil undoes you. Your evil undoes you. Jehindur! Oh yeah! I think we're killing waves too soon for me. We're too good at clearing. Your evil undoes you. Yes. 
Nossa. Dead Rush is the best. I realized it when I played against it. Spirit of Arachir is too micro intensive. That's not what Nazebo is about. And the Toads of Hugeness, you must have Toads for it. My spiders. Gather yourself and fight again. Why, 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 Garish cannot die? Anyone else think Deckard Garish is OP? Don't discard Toads of Usionist with the increased range. Eh. I think one of the nicest things to have against Garrosh is Vala or Greymane. The movement speed, the kiting, the autos. You punish him for stepping up. But mages that aren't Jaina, they don't really do it. And even Jaina, you can just circumvent for a bit with the unstoppable. We just need to soak for 20. How about everyone die? Because there are no minions left. Voodoo magic, black magic. Ravenous? Can they do something against me when I Ravenous? I think not Ravenous. No, not Ravenous. Gargansuan. Only when it expires do you get the thing. <laughs> Infected. I'm pretty slow on stacking this game. Dying does not help. Spirit Vispa. If you remove the wall, you don't get the zombies to uproot. If I read the tooltip correctly and remember correctly. I can't believe Karis didn't die. Got him to an inch of his life. Should have done a, a centimeter. Claim the shrine. 
show its guardians your resolve. We have two late game heroes, yeah. So far it's not too bad, we only lost one for it. Remember when Nazebo had jumping spiders and he didn't need to hit? Superstition. It's a triple toad. I did enough. My strike is true. They're so low. I can help more now by stacking like I'm supposed to. Surely Nara will come for me. Luckily summons don't give experience in this game. In Warcraft 3 they do. In Starcraft 2 they don't. I don't know what that was all about, mate. Because this is not Warcraft, that's true. It's not. Run away, you fools! Hey, I thought we started the bruiser. I guess he quit because he got interrupted, or maybe because uh, he's mouth and he doesn't like to do it alone. Games have been really good today. If a bit heart attacky. Keep in mind, enemy heal potions do not give vision. It's the only choice. You don't give up 35% spell power. Literally, you wouldn't want anything. Soak 20, hashtag. They're probably doing bruiser. No. Oh, that was scary. Garish was right there, thanks Diablo. Every noob who dies in a gank or a waiting party ever, they're probably doing bruiser. They weren't, by the way. Nice gamble. I see Garish. I'm safe. It's a really tiny radius, isn't it?
keep up the fight. Thank you, superstition. Very superstition. Stitious, sorry. Look at that 35%. Your evil undoes you. 5.2k HP. Are we caught up already. <laughs> Very superstitious. <laughs> Super stitches. Wait, how, how am I full life? This blood ritual thing is OP, man. How come everyone doesn't spam the Zebo? Invincible against Chromie, by the way. Not invincible, but it don't hurt much. There is no shelter. See you guys. I will be going to the other side. I got friends on the other side. Our Punisher has fallen before the Alright. Vile infection. Oh, I can go to the toilet. We soaked for 20. And I even got a chance to wet my fingers. You didn't know he was spotted? I can't believe we lost that fight, mate. How could we lose that fight? We killed Garrosh instantly. Only took 10 seconds. Yeah, I did wash my hands. That's what I said. Yeah, this protected crap is BS. Are they going for the win? Oh my god. They are. Full trait build, by the way. Lunara's going for the win, the rest isn't. <laughs> God, these potions. Why is Deckard so OP? Cat's almost stacked, though. I think they could have ended there. Speak. 
Spirit Whisper Agreement. Four stacks away. I need to not be on death lane, by the way. Well done. Well done. taking so much damage this is not fair best flank world let's see what killed me nothing absolutely nothing oh nice it's called target the streamer it's called streamers out of position in the middle of everything standing in dragon fire from Deathwing's ultimate. Wow, Garrosh, single target taunts. Just me. I saw that. I feel loved. Why are you running into the Deathwing alts? Second time? I wouldn't say I'm like running into it. But it's not fully a priority to run out of it either. When a witch doctor is pricking a voodoo doll... He's often not aware of where he is. He has a kind of out-of-body experience. Nice solo kill. The truth bans you. The truth bans you. <laughs> I'm taking keep shots. That's worse than cheap shots. <laughs> Just soak 20 lol. Well deserved hero. Well deserved heroes. I think Malfurion on Nazebo is the perfect announcer. Let's talk about hero and announcer synergies. When you win with Nazebo because you soaked for 20 after being out of position and ignoring keep shots and ignoring chromie shots and you finally win because you picked one talent, it's really well-deserved heroes. Each one has a perfect announcer. What's your favorite?